Hold your breath, hold your breath. Hold your breath, hold your breath. Hold your breath. And before you let it go, imagine the butterflies making home out of your stomach. How they dance and could never understand how they could be an inconvenience, just, just beautiful. Without even trying, how they could be a death without dying, how they could set loose all the parts of you held captive. Hold your breath, hold your breath. it published on a more grand scale or you know just do it yourself and I was kind of like you know I've written it you know nobody knows about it it's not like telling somebody you were gonna do it and then not coming through with it because nobody knows about it so in that sense I'm thinking about just submitting that one to some contests and then I might write a separate work where I actually go into you know creating something else that I'll self-publish and I might keep that one to actually submit to contests because if it is as valid in the literary world as she thinks it could be then I don't want to pass up that opportunity and you know that you forgot like you feel the tension yeah. inside that you forgot and even if it's not about letting them know you forgot you're still forgetting more as you go along mm -hmm. I've had whole pieces where I got all the way to the end and I kind of forgot the end so I just kind of like fake the rest of it and then it was it. Yeah. They didn't know. Yeah. But in my head, I'm like, okay, that was close. That was close. This piece is entitled Ghosts. We are still setting places at the table for ghosts, renting out our hearts as homes to souls that have long outgrown them cooking favorite meals and playing favorite songs in hopes that either one will serve as directions home. Even got the porch lights burning at the brightest of day because how is there any way you didn't choose to stay? You see, it doesn't make sense that you could spend the cost of a heart but depart before returning one, leaving a love undone that seemed it couldn't succumb to the likes of an end. So yeah, porch lights on at the brightest of day because there is no way you can be anything more than lost. We are still sending letters to old addresses taking empty words, putting them into emptier envelopes that hold enough space for all the things we didn't say, all the chances we didn't take, all the ways that we would break with no doubt that we were the only ones who could fix us. We are still sending letters that say return to sender, digesting those words like songs we've heard a million times, but it will still wouldn't feel right to swallow it down. We are saving space for hearts that in no way crave it, Reserving land when there are capable hands to cultivate it. We've crafted so many cemeteries where gardens could be and can't even tell the difference.